Welcome to Kennels, let's have a little look round. So here we've got our vet room, we can take them in there and um, it's a nice clean and sterile environment. So the vet will come on site on Thursdays. Any problems with the dogs, um, they'll see the vet. Um, when the dogs come in, in the morning, and um, this is where they, they check in. So we've got a phone just found here and they'll call through to the relevant block. And in here is Old Barn. So this is where predominantly the Labradors live. But we do have quite a few Spaniels in at the moment because some of the Spaniels are best suited to being kenneled with larger dogs. So we've got a little grooming room here, so you can, we can do our health checks and grooms here. We can bath the dogs, we can also dry them and clip them in here as well. So uh, some of the dogs in our barn. As you'll see, um, most of our dogs are kenneled in pairs or in threes because we like to give them company. The glass plants, we've probably had them for about two years and it just makes the dogs feel like they're a lot more involved with us, it's a lot more homely and just gives it a lot more relaxed, calming, calming environment for them. Welfare officers can be on a variety of shifts, so we've got earlies, which is 7.30 to 3.30, 9 and 5, which is obviously 9 to 5, and then late shift, which is half 10 to half 6. And when the late shift person comes in at half 10, all the team just have a little hand over between the block uh, just to discuss what's gone in the morning and make a plan for the day. And then we also have another, we have an afternoon handover. So when the early shift's going home at half three, we'll just discuss again anything that's gone on during the day and that we need to pass on to the B&Bers. Behavioural or health-wise we need to monitor, then all the team are aware of it. We open at half seven and the trainers start at nine, so between half seven and nine they normally start arriving and then they normally leave between five and half six in the evening. So their bed and breakfast volunteers have them evenings and weekends, so dogs are never in kennels overnight at all. So they'll, when they come into kennel reception, they'll call through to us. When we take a dog off, off them, we'll ask if everything's okay, and they'll report any problems they might have. And then when we see the dog out to them in the evening, we'll say um, if we've got anything to pass on to them, um, like say the dog's had loose motions, then we'll pass it on to them and ask them to monitor and let us know in the morning how they've been. So this is a kitchen area. So we always have a person manning in the block, we never leave them unattended. This is for noise control. Um, it's always important to have the kennels as quiet and calm as possible so the dogs can relax and sleep if they wish. So Lauren's currently manning and doing some admin work. Um, we've also got our food here. So all the dogs go out the little food tub to their volunteer and when they need it filling up, we fill it up from our tubs here. And this also has um, written on the board what each food the dog is on. Um, so should we need to give it any treats, we know what to give it. And this is just our walking board so that we can keep track of what activities we've done with the dog every day. Uh, we have about 12 in here at the moment and there's about 15 um, next door. We can potentially house 24 dogs in this block. These are our outside compounds. So we can put kennels out, um, so kennel mates out together and leave them unattended for about 15 minutes or so. In the summer we've got little paddling pools that we can put out and we've also got a little sprinkler man, this sprinkler man, this. So he go, when he's attached to a hose he sprinkles water everywhere and the dogs absolutely love it. So these um, outside covers are quite helpful for the dogs because we've got the inside areas in the kennels where they can um, chill out or have a play. These outside areas and the fields as well. By having all these different environments, it just means um, that the dogs have a variety of places to go and it keeps them stimulated and stops them getting bored. Right, come on in. Now um, to next door, we've got our food boards up here and our food for the dogs when they go out and also the walking board. So this end we've got um, one set of kennels for the dogs. So as you'll see, they're slightly different to next door. They've got a front bit, an outside bit of their kennel, and also they can go way out the back as well. So there's multiple areas. Um, and you'll also see that in here is painted as well. That's just a bit of enrichment for the dog, something different for them to look at. And we've also got our little snug area here. So this is a little area where we can go come in one-on-one -on -one with the dog We'll close the doors, we've got a mood lamp, a radio, um, we've got food games for them, we can give them cuddles, play with toys. It's just a nice little homely environment where we can come with the dogs and they love it. Especially in winter when it's cold and wet, 
Some of the poodles don't massively love the pouring rain and the cold, so we can bring them in here and it's just a nice change of environment for them. So the most important thing that welfare do is making sure that the dogs are happy and healthy. So if they're not happy and healthy, then they're likely to, it's likely to inhibit their training. Keep an eye out for the next episode of Hearing Dogs TV. Discover more about our puppy's first stage and our training. To view more episodes and find out more about Hearing Dogs, just click the link.